All right, I'm going to bring up my, um, since we're going to create another version of the bullet, I'm bringing up my layers again, and we'll call, <coughs> oh, well, I guess we can call it, uh, why do I keep hitting that button, shells, um, underscore lathe, and make sure nothing's selected, and create a new layer. We'll call it shells oh, underscore um I don't know cylinder. Now let's call it um modeled model. And that automatically is checked so we know when we create our cylinder it will go on that layer. Let's create a cylinder. That looks about the right width. Raise it up. About the right height. Um, sheesh. Doesn't like looking silly. F3. It's alright. We can just modify this. <coughs> to where the bottom would be. And we'll just raise the radius till we get it about right. And we'll change the height till we get it about right. And we'll go into this. Well, actually, I guess we'll take it out of that. But we'll make this. Um, Alt X makes your whatever you have selected transparent or see through. <coughs> and what we'll do is I'm going to right click and just make it a edit poly I'm going to drag all of these down to right about the center of that the smallest core there I'm going to take these and what you can do here is a loop let me drag this out for you loop it'll grab all the rest in that line and I'm going to chamfer I'll leave it like that again we're not gonna be too too specific and then I'm going to grab these polys and extrude and bevel them I want local normal selected So I bring it to about here, here, and now I can take, oh, press OK. I can take these right here. Yikes. These right here and raise that up to here. And I can lower this a bit. That's about as much detail as we'll get for that part. Keyboard shortcuts, I use them a lot. R on the keyboard is your scale shortcut. <coughs> I'm just going to move these up here and focus there. Well, you know what? I'm going to undo that. I'm not going to undo that. what I'll do with just these center vertices is I'll use this webbing grab that webbing and I'll bulge the the middle out a little bit I'll do the same with this so it doesn't have such a sharp fall off we we'll, would we'll need it a little bit more gradual that's about right W on the keyboard is shortcut for the move uh, tool or whatever that is. And select the top layer there. And again, R for scale. Bring that in ever so slightly. I'm going to leave 
the see-through mode. Remember, that's Alt X. And at this point, I'm going to hide the um, reference panel, <coughs> and I'll hide this shell also because we don't need that. And that's why I usually keep that in there because I can just, oh, so I can just jump, jump to it when I need it. What is the problem here? Layers. That's how you do it. And then you can find your layers here. It just manages a lot easier for me anyway. Rather than having to go over, hit that button, you always have them just open at the bottom. So I'm just going to leave that open. I want to... Um, Move this in. Shells are pretty thin. I'll apply. And I don't want anything right here. Alt X to see through it again. And I'll take it to about here, I guess. Yeah, that seems right. I mean, it probably wouldn't go that low. But that's what we're going to make it for this tutorial. And also, if I wanted to maybe just add a little bit more, because see, this is very flat on the top. And if you're familiar with bullet shells at all, it really isn't like that. Um, we can loop, and then we can add a loop in. I'm going to hit F2 on my keyboard. We'll turn this, because... A lot of times when you have this really, like, a lot of it selected, it will burn your eyeballs with that bright red. So if you hit F2, it just outlines everything. And I find that to be a good little thing. Alt-X to come out of that. W for the Move tool. And it adds just, just a little bit more rounding to it. You could even drag it up a little higher if you wanted, and then, like, chamfer. Um, not really necessary, and I'm going to try to keep the poly count down, so I'm going to cancel that. I'm showing you what you could do, and there's always ways to experiment with your own thing. Okay, so let's look at the bottom, the bottom of the shell. Again, you can go to your reference photos. I happen to know what it's going to look like. And I'm not going to do it exactly, but we are going to get it kind of close. So bring it in like that. That looks about right. Apply. Um, uh, you know, we'll stylize it a little bit. Bring this out a little bit. Now we'll move it in a little bit, maybe. Apply. And finally, I just want to make sure it just about runs even. with the bottom piece there. Alright, so that's the bottom of our shell. This is our shell. This is how you would do it with a cylinder. Um, you would take the other steps with um, ba -ba 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 -ba, with this shell also. Um, like, we didn't develop the bottom or anything. Like this one because it has a point at the bottom, I would just take that and uh, chamfer it, and you have your post or whatever, but um, that's not the one we're working with, I guess, doesn't matter whatever method you want, okay.